take out your pedal power worksheet. Number one says, what are some sources of energy according to the story? Where can energy come from? I see four on this first page. I'm gonna give you one and I want you to find out at least two more, okay? Solar energy comes from the sun. So the sun is one and there are three others, but I need you to come up with two more and it's right on that first page. Number two, how can energy from bicycle power be stored? If you keep reading and go on to the next page, my Chromebook's just loading, bicycle powered energy and it talks about bicycle powered energy and how a generator uses that. So the generator, when the wheels are spinning, it spins, the, the wheel spins the generator and the generator produces electricity. So as long as the student is pedaling, the electricity can flow, but the generator doesn't store the energy, it just helps run, use the energy. It can be stored in a what? It can be stored in a battery. So energy can be stored in a battery. All right, number three. What information does the diagram of the bicycle generator provide? So here's the bicycle generator and the diagram is the picture. What is it telling you or what is it showing you? Okay. Number four, where can pedal power be used? If you keep reading, using bicycle powered energy. Now it says it would be a mistake to use pedal power to run a refrigerator. Why is that? It's because it's a large appliance. So pedal power can be used on small appliances. So let's write that. Pedal power can be used on small appliances such as, and what did it say in the sto story? Such as what? Such as small televisions and fans. So, small TVs and fans. That's pretty cool. And number five, what are the characteristics of expository text? So this story is an expository text. And an expository text gives facts and information about a topic. So what did this story give you facts and information about? It gave you facts and information about pedal power and using that power. It can also include text features. What was one of those text features that it used? It had subtitles or subheadings, sorry, subheadings. And it also had a diagram. So those are two text features that we know of and we have talked about in school, okay? It gives us the information about a topic. So we're gonna say gives us information about a topic. All right, your job for the rest of reading today is to finish this worksheet. Keep working hard.